Hey guys, today I'm going to be looking at the programs and other stuff in Haiku operating system. So as you can see, this is your desktop. And by default, there are some stuff here. So I'm going to be having a look at them. Let's see what Untitled Clipping is. When you run a program, this thing pops up and shows you the name of the program that is open. So I guess it's just notepad that's called styled edit. So we'll close it by clicking this box. So trash, it's just your recycle bin. So, and welcome. So it opens up your web browser and gives you the user guide. Haiku. So I guess this is your libraries so where your files are located and system files too so bbook let's see what that is and I guess it's just a start guide to haiku operating system how to use it and stuff so let's see what home is and it's just your files I guess yeah Let's check the release notes. I'm pretty sure there are applications to use here. Yeah, I believe it's in Haiku. And then it's apps. So let's see what Wonderbrush is. Yeah, it's paint. So you can draw whatever you want here. But I'm not going to save it. And web positive. It's a uh, web browser. Let's try to go to a website. Oh. Appears it cannot go to this website. Okay. So we'll close that. Vision. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Some network setup thing, I believe. And BPDF. Yeah, it's a PDF reader for these operating systems. Close that. And there's PE. Yeah, this is WordPad. You can type some stuff and yeah, when you save it to your desktop. There. Yeah, there's the thing that I just typed. That's PE. So when you delete something, yeah, it just goes into your trash. Yeah, that's all for the apps. And over here, this is the volume control. And this is like a task manager or yeah, something similar. Yeah, process controller. That's what it's called. And this is the network preferences. And this is the start menu. So, yeah, recent documents, folders, applications. Oh, so there are more applications here, okay. And demos, uh, I guess there are games or something. Desktop applets, and preferences. Change the computer to work the way you want. So, that is pretty much it for Haiku Operating System. Thanks for watching.